Yeah, I thought the team was really, really good. Um, you know, I think we, we had a good game plan. We executed. Um, we were missing just a couple finishes there. But overall, it was just a great team performance. And um, we defended well, too. So I, I, I mean, I got to pat my guys on the back. And uh, just on a personal level, like I mentioned, you know, picked up your second clean sheet of the season, obviously against your former team. Um, how did that feel on a personal level to get the, the shutout? And just kind of uh, you know, doing it against a bunch of guys that you obviously spent a lot of time with. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was nice to see some of them after the game, but um, for me, you know, the, uh, the match was about points, and you know, it's always good to get a shutout. Um, I thought I thought my game's good. You know, I'm in good form. Um, stringing together a couple of these shutouts would be nice um, starting today. So I feel good, but you know, there's no extra satisfaction, in Timbers. You know, I feel we feel rooted here. I, I'm, I'm pushing with this team, and I'm loving what we're doing. So. Obviously, uh, the clean sheet is a positive takeaway from this, but what is the feeling inside the locker room uh, knowing that you could take it first place out of this game? Sorry, can you say that last part again? I, I missed that. Yeah, just what's the feeling like in the locker room? Obviously, first place was inside in the Western Conference, mm. uh, the yeah. important team, but just what's the overall feeling? The overall feeling is that, um, you know, I think that we played really well. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the stats are, but I'm sure possession and expected goals are in our favor. Um, you know, sometimes the ball doesn't go in, and, and that's part of the game. And uh, I was I was proud of the way we performed when we went down to ten men as well. Um, you know, I think that we're we're feeling good, um, and with a big one next week. On the defensive side, how proud does the team feel um, keeping uh, and attacking off an offense like? Like Portland, obviously a guy like Sebastian Blanco uh, to zero goals. Yeah, I mean, they're dangerous, as you can see. Um, you know, their front four are so dynamic. Uh, I think that we defended so well. You know, I think I had a couple saves, which is nice to clean up for us. Um, but, you know, we feel solid in the back. And, uh, um, and, you know, I think that overall, you know, we were quite good with the ball, too. I mean, I just think it was a good performance, really. Um, and uh, we're, I think we're unlucky to come out with the points, for sure. Can you describe this game against Portland, the, the biggest challenge the team has faced at home this season? Yeah, I mean, they, they, obviously they have their pedigree, um, and they've been a group that's been together a long time. We're kind of early in our process um, as a team, but um, you know, I, I liked our when we have the you know the perennial big Western Conference teams. I liked the way we performed tonight. You know, we we want to take the game to them, and I and I felt like we were it was about us and what we were doing tonight, and and that feels good when you play a big team. I believe uh, I believe you got named the man of the match. You got the banner this this game. Is that correct? And just how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I love the supporters. You know, um, it's fun. I interact sometimes in the game, and you know, I feed off the crowd. So um, it's a, it's a great place to play. It was it was humid tonight. My first experience with that. It's going to be like that. And I and I think that um, we embrace that humidity, and and uh, the fans are out there. Everyone's sweating, and, and it's a it's a fun place to play. So. Yeah. Last one for me. Just. Uh, you're a big fan of Pepsi, or just, just a? Oh no, it's just it's line. just a, it's just a jersey. Uh, it's a like a retro jersey that I wear sometimes. All right, thanks, Steve. Fortunately, Pepsi's a, a club sponsor, so thanks for that, Steve. Uh, we'll go over to Jesus Acevedo next. Go ahead, Jesus. Hey, Steve. Um, from a goalkeeping perspective, you know, the team had good chances, and you know, the Portland Timbers needed a goalkeeper. You say from a goalkeeping per perspective, do you feel like, uh, you, you know, how do you see the saves that he made? Because I mean, some of those saves were goals, but he saved them. Um, you know, I, they were, obviously I'm so far away. I know that he had a couple of saves, so good for him. Tip, tip your hat to him. And um, you know, I think that overall, it's good to be on a team that's defending well. So I'm, I'm happy to uh, with my performance tonight, and I'll take my zero. How do you compare last week's game, which was, as you know, Coach Kale, very chaotic, to today's game, it was, you know, more, less open and just a different kind of challenge compared to last week's game from the defensive end? Well, you know, San Jose, there, you know, is a different team than Portland, you know, so every, every team is uh, giving different challenges and, uh, you know, the chaotic game kind of is what San Jose presents, so um, we wanted to, of course, play it, play it like that, um, and then, 
you know, this was probably the way we thought the game would go. Um, you know, with a Portland team that, that defends a little lower um, and looks to counter. Um, they actually pressed us a little more than I thought, which was fine for me, which was fun to play out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the game was, was what we thought it would be. Uh, when Pinic left the game in the 75th minute, you know, what kind of uh, communication were you having with your back line? Well, I think that when, when you go down to 10 men that late, and, and especially um, with how much we put into the game, I think it's more of a try to just close the field down and see the game out and get, take your point. Um, I think that we did have a chance um, at the end there, which, we, which would have been nice to get one late. But really, it was just everyone's collectively knowing what our role is, and that's just see the game out and, and take the zero and the point. And this will be the last one for me. Uh, how do you assess Seca's game? You know, this I think this I believe this is the most minutes he's he's played uh, in the game since he's joined the team. Uh, sorry, who is that again? Seca. Zeka. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought he came in and did well. You know, um, and uh, you know, good taste for him of the of a good MLS team, and um, you know. He defended well when we needed him to. And um, you know we have a lot of depth at that position. Griff's doing really well there, too. Thanks, Steve. We'll go over to Garrett Heinrich, HoustonDynamo.com. Go ahead, Garrett. Hey, Steve. Um, do you, how much pride do you take in, in your work and the defensive work seeing that game out after going down 10 men so late? Well, I, I think that overall, you know, even even in the first half, you know, they, they attack very dynamically with a lot of give and goes with, you know, and they're capable of hurting you in, in many different ways. So as a team defending, you know, I, I thought it was spot on um, in, in every aspect. So I think the zero is something we deserved. And, um, you know, I, we're, we're, we're becoming a good defensive team and we're really building on that. You talked a little bit about specifically about Tim and Teenage and while Teenage was out there and just their work today for you. Yeah, I mean, it's nice for me to have some big boys in front of you, uh, first and foremost. So um, I thought they were both great, you know. Um, then Ethan stepped in as well um, when he needed to with a nice block at the end there. Um, you know, we're a real cohesive unit, and, um, you know, you can see the growth in this team this year and, and what we're trying to do, and, and it's a real new era, and I, and I think that you're seeing that defensively. All our work all week is, is, is a lot of talking, a lot of communicating, pushing to get these, these – um, good defensive performances, so we're just going to keep going. And you talked about um, you enjoy playing out of the back and, and that you guys had a chance down 10. One of those chances came off your foot on a ball up that Thor kind of got into in, in the box, but that's something you got a hockey assist last game. How much work do you put in on the distribution and trying to start the offense from the back, and how, much, and how do you feel you've been doing so far this year with the team? Well, yeah, I think that... You can probably see the, the difference I'm making the team in that regard, and it's something that I like to do. And um, yeah, you mentioned the, the, the goal kick at the end, getting that extra distance here um, for me is something that I'm working a lot on. So I felt good to smash that goal kick. Um, but you know, we're growing in that aspect too, and that's going to come along. You know, I can promise you that in August, we're going to be a better playing out than we are now. So you know, it's a different dynamic that, that, that uh, we're offering teams that, you know, we're very vertical and we're, we can be direct with our speed, but we can also keep the ball. And I, I think we can hurt teams in, in multiple ways.